So, as has already been said, this is one of the projects that is a strategic priority project from the Australian Government Office for Learning and Teaching. And I would like to express our very sincere gratitude for the Office for Learning and Teaching, not only for the, the care and the, the prescience, I think, that they show in identifying the topics for these strategic priority projects each year, but also for the continual support that they give the project teams as we work through the, the various issues that inevitably ar arise. And we certainly do appreciate the support from, from OLT that is always there for us. So what has our project been about? The aims, as we stated right at the beginning in the proposal, were to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the broad experiences of Australian coursework postgraduate students and the relationship to learning, and to establish evidence-based recommendations to impact and enhance Australia's postgraduate students' broad experiences. So essentially what this boils down to is that we were really looking to understand more about the strengths and limitations of current approaches and strategies that could be developed to improve the experience for Australian postgraduate students. And this was done both by looking at the, the course-based coursework students and research students. And we've heard this morning already about some of the, um, the breadth and diversity of the, the students that make up our postgraduate population. So the approach that we took to the project was first of all the secondary analysis of data that you've just heard about from Ali. And I confess that we did um, time this so that what I am able to do is, is build on that survey data that already existed, which was really the starting point for our project and set the scene for us to have some more detailed discussions with students and with academics and senior administrators across the country. And so the, the next step in the project was that we ran a series of engagement breakfasts in each of the states and territories where we hosted postgraduate students, both coursework and research, and engaged them in discussions around round tables, much as you are seated now, and talked with them, encouraged them to share their perspectives of what was working, what wasn't working, what they valued, what could be done better, and how they saw their overall student experience. And we then took that data and explored it in more detail through interviews and focus groups across both staff and students. And you can see that across the breadth of the um, project here, the Bold numbers are the number of students that we've engaged with, and the non-bold numbers are the number of staff members that we've engaged with, and those numbers are uh, dispersed across the country. So what I would first like to do is share with you some of the data that we got from the engagement breakfasts. And this slide is a, a Wordle that we constructed and that the methodology behind this was that across those breakfasts, we had 39 tables of students, typically consisting of four to, to eight students at each table. And the first prompt, the, the first thing we asked them to do was to think about and discuss what does the term postgraduate student experience mean to you? So this was really trying to get at what they felt, how they engaged with what being a postgraduate meant to each of those people. And they discussed and they constructed wordles using colours and different types of font to express the most uh, predominant themes at the table. And we then synthesised that into an overall summary. And these were literally their words to describe their experience. And so across those students, you can see the importance of concepts such as networking, challenging, stress, uncertainty, a good bit of fun in there too, which is always good, but also some words like isolating and the, the, the stress word again. Support came up as an issue and, and we'll talk about that again. What this doesn't show is whether these uh, oftentimes very emotive words were expressing a positive or a negative. And part of that came through some of the other discussions and through the interviews. 
initially from the um, breakfasts and then through the discussions with the interviews and focus groups, we identified a number of themes and, and many of these are resonating with some of the discussions that we've heard. So this one on diversity and profiling effectively um, came to the kinds of issues that our Vice-Chancellor was talking about this morning, about that diversity of students and the breadth of reasons for which they come to study and what therefore they're expecting to get out of their experience. And I'm, I'm glad given that many of the discussions so far have been about the importance of the student voice that in putting this together, what I chose to do was share with you some of the words from the students who we interviewed and, and talked with. So these were some of the words that describe the, the ways in which this diversity of background, diversity of reasons for engaging in the postgraduate study impact on the way that they perceive their experience and their expectations and satisfaction with those experiences. So words like, I, well, I'm not allowed to move from here. I make the point that each postgraduate is likely to be different, that they've got these busy lives in which lots else is happening that impacts on their experience. And that diversity comes through also in their sense of belonging and engagement with their university and with their program. So that an issue of busyness and time comes through very strongly. And also this issue, particularly in research students, of feeling isolated, but wanting the contacts, both social, but also importantly, networking type contacts that will enable them to engage with their um, desired profession, if that is why they are studying. Another very important theme that came through very strongly to us was the importance for postgraduate students of employability. And again, this idea that much of what is offered is more geared at undergraduates than postgraduates. And so we need to do a, a better job of focusing on what it is to be a postgraduate student. What are the expectations? What can we do? And some of these comments come from research students. And again, back to the point of how many of them want a career in academia. And these are some quotes from um, students who did want a career in academia and are concerned about that. And I would draw the attention of the academics in the room to this middle quote and be very careful because someone is watching you and is, is thinking about what they can do. So, so mind that cliff. Yep. Another important theme that we've talked a little bit about already is the importance of student services and our assumptions very often that postgraduates know what's going on and they can navigate what's going on, whereas in fact they don't for a whole host of reasons. Maybe they've been 10, 15, 20 years since they last studied and it's a very different world now. They don't know how to navigate the systems. They don't know how to find information. And when we provide it, again, it's tailored for undergraduates and we need to think about what the postgraduate student needs and do a, a more tailored uh, support system that will meet their needs more strongly. So those are um, some of the themes and some of the discussions that we've had that have come through uh, the work that we've been doing. I think they're resonating with some of the other discussions that we've had. And out of this over the, the next short time in order to, to meet our agreement with OLT, we're going to be producing a number of case studies that will go into the details around these themes and the recommendations that come out of it through a couple of good practice guides and of course the final report. And I would direct you to our website that is already in existence and we'll be populating it with information as we proceed. And of course this symposium is an important part of that. And finally, a very important part of it um, consistent with the idea of student voice and enabling students to be heard and, and tell their stories is that for the students who are present, if you would like to share your experience, then please volunteer to participate in a video. We have a videographer here in the meeting room one near the lifts. If you would like to share your stories and your experiences, then please um, volunteer to participate. And once again, 
Thank you very much. And those are our contacts if you would like to contact us again. Thank you. Thank you.